What is going on, everybody? It's Born AK Hog here. And every minute that goes on without AJ Preller announcing the move we've been waiting for, my anger, my animosity towards this organization continues to increase. Where all these reports come out that every single person in this organization, people in the front office, players, want Jace Tangler gone. We see the report from Heyman that AJ Preller who runs everything, has the keys and the balls to keep this situation going. There's an article that came out today, everybody, that's titled, Jace Tingler hopes to remain San Diego Padres manager despite the historic collapse. We are going to go through it before I get into the video, before I rant about this organization that is causing me to lose this beautiful salad on my head. All I ask is follow me on Twitter right here at Hogborna. Join the Discord. Link's in the description. We're approaching 300 Discord members. Subscribe, like, Let's get to 2,000 subscribers, but without further ado, guys. Oh my goody goo goo. This shit is starting to piss me off. No shit Jay Stingler thinks he should stay as the Padres manager, despite the biggest collapse in franchise history. Only San Diego. I believe in this group, Tingler said Sunday. Of course, I want to be a part of going forward. I think we're closer to getting a top of the division than we are going the other way. I mean, not really, man. And we're a few games back from finishing fourth place behind the Colorado Rockies, who literally cannot win a, a, a game on the road until fucking June. Listen, listen, it's not like this team is fun anymore. There's expectations. There's a payroll of $175 million, which is top 10 for the first time in forever. They're in the luxury tax. I understand the whole Max Scherzer thing, but AJ Preller said it himself. It doesn't matter about starting pitching we acquire. It matters about the guys that we already have. But guys, here's the biggest situation. Reports that players were mad at Preller about the Hosmer deal. They didn't want him to get traded. But the situation is this. All these articles that came out by Derek, AC, Dennis, Cassival, you name them. The common sentiment was that players were unhappy with Jace Tingler. He had lost the clubhouse. Why are we considering keeping him? Why? Why? It makes no sense, regardless of his knowledge of the game, even though I don't think so. But regardless of his potential, we don't need potential right now. We don't have time for potential. We need results. Guys, this San Diego Padres team finished 79 and 83. Listen to that. What? The Mets already got rid of their guy. They're already on the market for Bruce Bochy. They're already on the market for Ron Washington. If the Padres keep Jace Tingler, it's going to get ugly. Tingler's hold on his job became tenuous during a brutal free fall that the, San that the Padres go from a one-game lead to the NL second wildcard spot on September 9th to being eliminated with seven games left. Think about that. Boom, 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 boom. It just happened so fast. It was an avalanche. The Padres clinched their 10th losing record in 11 seasons. And the only winning record was a 60-game season. The only time the Padres made the playoffs in A.J. Preller's tenor was a 60-game season. I don't count that shit. We haven't made the real playoffs in 15 years. And you tell me I'm wrong otherwise. Tell me I'm wrong otherwise. I'm so done hearing this shit, man. Whatever it takes to bring a championship to the city, you've got to do what you've got to do to make that happen. They're not doing what they've got to do to make it happen. They're not doing it. Tingler had no, listen to this. Tingler had no previous managerial experience above rookie level ball and stints in various Dominican leagues before being hired on October 29th. Guys, we're not even talking about AAA. Okay, fuck it. I'll be nice. We're not even talking about double A. Sorry, Borna. Sorry, Hog. I will be nicer. We're not even talking about single A. We're talking about rookie ball. R-O-O-K-I-E. Rookie ball. But hey, Tingler guided the Padres to a 37-23 record in a pandemic-shortened season and their first playoff appearance in 13 years, which doesn't fucking count, in my opinion. Listen to this. AJ Proud has yet to have a winning record in a full season since he was hired in August of 2014. 
if he fires Tingler, it will be the third time he's dismissed a manager. Neither Tingler nor his predecessor, Andy Green, had big league managing experience when they were hired. I think this is the biggest reason why Preller's holding off. Because although it is the right move to fire Tingler, and although I think they will do it, which John Heyman says they already decided on it, it's such a bad look for Preller to continuously get rid of guys. Because that means his evaluation process is flawed. And I don't care if Fernando's the front runner for MVP, he won't win it. I promise you he won't win it. Joe Musgrove was one of the only buying spots for the San Diego Padres. And that's about it, guys. It's really about it. So why is Jace Tingler still the manager of the San Diego Padres? It's Tuesday. It's October 5th. And I want you to let me know why. I'm signing out.